hi everybody welcome back to my channel today i am doing a travel story video i'm going to tell you about the time i was lost in taiwan this story is actually pretty funny now but when it was happening it wasn't that funny <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna tell you about how I was lost in Taiwan and what I did to get out of this situation. So let's get started. All right, so the reason why I went to Taiwan, specifically Taipei, because I wanted to eat. I had heard so many things about Taipei having really cheap, delicious food, and I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and stop there. So after I left Japan the second time living there, I decided to stop by. Um, <laughs> I decided to stop by Taipei, but basically that's that's what happened. So yeah, I decided to go to Taiwan before going back to America and I wanted to just try a bunch of different food. Also, I wanted to go to this place called Jifun. Basically, it's rumored that Miyazaki was inspired by this place and used a lot of like buildings and architecture to reflect the movie uh, Spirited Away. So I was just like, yeah, I gotta go see it because I'm a big Ghibli fan. So I get to Taiwan and then I get to my hotel and the, I got there kind of like late in the evening. So I just kind of got familiar with the hotel. The hotel I was at was like super nice. Got familiar with the hotel and then the, the lady downstairs working in the front was like, hey, you should go check out the night market that's close by. Well, I went and did that and it was amazing. The night market is just like so much fun, especially if you are a foodie like me. The first night, totally fine. I was like, oh my god, this is great. But I had trouble with my phone. So I was communicating with my dad to tell him like, hey, can you give me some data so I can get around the next couple of days with the GPS on my phone. And he told me, yeah, he was taking care of it. So <laughs> the next day, my dad was like, yeah, you're good to go. You should be able to use your phone to get around because I had some places I wanted to go, which was Taipei 101. And then I wanted to go to Longshan, Longshan Temple. I'm sorry if I did not pronounce that right. But I wanted to go to those two places and then the next day I was going to go to Jifun to go see the, the Miyazaki inspired buildings. And I went outside and I'm feeling good about myself. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have a great day. I checked my phone, realized no data, none whatsoever. I couldn't get on no internet. I couldn't get on no Google Maps. I couldn't get on anything. And I was just like, ah. Uh, all right, so there's a big time difference and my dad is probably not gonna respond to it and get to fix this problem. So what I had to do, I went back to the hotel, used the Wi-Fi, let my dad know what's going on and then I didn't wanna waste my entire first day. So what I ended up doing, I was writing all of the directions to each place I had to go. Starting from the hotel to Taipei 101 then Taipei 101 to Longsheng, temple and then back to the hotel so i was hoping that that would be enough and i was really kind of like scared i'm like oh my god i hope i don't get lost so i leave the hotel again and i get on a train and i get to taipei 101 totally fine totally fine i was feeling myself i was like yes who needs internet who needs gps i did i i, I did it Let's just say after Taipei 101, that's when I got lost. After leaving Taipei 101, I decided to go to the temple and I got on the train. But what I think happened is that I got on an express train and went past the stop that I need to go on. And so when I got off the train, realizing that it went past my stop, I was totally confused. So I was like, yeah, let me just get back on the train and get to that stop that I needed to get to to go to the other train to get to this temple. So I got back on that train and it went past the stop again. And I was just like, Bruh. why are they not stopping at this specific stop? So I can't 
uh, read, speak Taiwanese at all. So, you know, that was a language barrier right there. I just got back on the train, I got off at a stop. And I was just like, oh, okay. So I'm at this random stop in Taipei and I can't speak or read the language. What am I gonna do? So what I ended up doing is going to the train person I guess conductor staff worker and I was like hey uh, in English <laughs> hi I am really lost can you help me that man gave me like the death stare he was just like huh? and I was like oh I I'm lost like speaking slower was gonna make him understand English more and I mean honestly he had the vibe that he just didn't even want to help me in the first place so I was just like oh my god I walked away because that interaction was very awkward I walked away I sat on the bench and I was just like okay so what am I gonna do and I have a really bad habit of getting frustrated and crying like when I get frustrated, I just start, <laughs> I just start crying because I don't know what to do. And it's just, it's a bad reaction, but that's what I was doing. So you just see this little black girl sitting on a bench in Taiwan, uh, sobbing basically because I'm lost and this man would not help me. And so then I remember once my student told me that a lot of people in Taipei can speak a bit of Japanese or at least understand a little bit of Japanese. And I was just like, that's really weird. I was like, okay, I wonder, you know, this is a far stretch, but I wonder if I can go to this man and speak a little basic Japanese to see if he'll help me and at least give me some sort of direction. So try number two, I walk back up to this man and he's like glaring at me like, why are you here? And I'm just like, ah. Nihongo wa hanasemasu ka? And he looked at me like, like just mouth dropped at everything. And I was like, he didn't respond though in Japanese. So I was just like, oh my God, it's not working. <laughs> First of all, this black girl coming up to me speaking English, like I'm supposed to know. And then now she's speaking Japanese and he just, stared at me and I was just like well he didn't say no <laughs> so then I asked some questions like you know is this the train to get here or you know do you have a map and you know all of these basic Japanese questions and he actually provided me with a map and he circled it and then he also wrote the platform number and I was like see homie you could have just did that in the beginning. Like, if you didn't understand what I was saying, you could, I was pointing to the place I was trying to go. You could have just wrote that. Cause he wrote the number in English. So, let me not go on a rant. Point is, I was able to get to this temple after speaking a little basic Japanese. That was basically how I got lost in Taiwan. And I mean, it was a life threatening, but when you're traveling along as a woman, it's just, everything seems to be kind of like amplified. If you have any other questions about traveling, leave them down below. I mean, I, I love talking about traveling. Like, segue. Speaking of traveling, brown girls be traveling. <laughs> oh, that was so shameless. Uh, release its fall fleece shirt and I have this like really pretty mauve color and I just I just feel like it looks so good on brown skin but yeah it's the the logo again but with a little I don't know if you can see this I'm gonna try to come up you see like a little plane a destination like it's really cute it's very subtle but um, it's very comfortable. It is fleece, so it's very warm as well. And then on the back, I don't know if you can see it, but it says brown girls be traveling. So if you're interested in this fleece shirt, please check out my online store down below and we will be getting more colors and restocking on this because this is pretty much gone at this point, which is really good. But yes, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next video and give it a thumbs up all right bye